are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. That's one way to describe it. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. Alright, don't get your panties in a twist. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Mm -hmm. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Alright. That's fine. So if I choose Black Eagles, does Manuela get Golden Deer and Hanuman get Blue Lions? Because that would fit for me, honestly. Uh, but yeah. Right. Black Eagles, ho! So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Yep. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Sure. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. Flane. Hmm, okay. I am in the middle of something, Flane. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly... Who is this? This is our newest professor at the academy. Better questions, who are oh you? My. A new addition to the officer's academy. I am so very pleased to meet you, professor. Green hair is being a big thing I here. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. There must be something to do with the green hair, because Sothis, Rhea, Seteth, and Flane all have a shade of green. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. Makes sense. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Literally the first time you'll see me in battle. How can you be disappointed by it? <sighs> oh, well. Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? Mm -hmm. You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It Ouch. will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. Benedict is going to join you. <laughs> don't look at me like that. Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. Oh, dear. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. Yeah. So you should treat me with actual respect because I am a professor, you know. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. One of us. One of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Yeah, but you're all 17 to 23, right? Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. I don't mind. Oh, huh. That's a bit weird. Why would it give me the option to choose a thing but not actually have a choice? You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our Professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You hmm. can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, well then. Oh, uh... Please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. Okay. That you get extra detention. I know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes. But I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. I'm going to wipe the floor with all of you. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of... Um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? 
Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? It does. <laughs> I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. Oh boy. Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Hmm. Uh, they're not normally this rowdy. I'm sure they're not. I do hope you can manage, Professor. Yeah, I'll be fine. Experience of taming rowdy children for school. So, combat arts. Yeah, I've already seen that. But it's good that they do have loading screen tips as well to remind you of these kind of things. Oh, you get to do... Ah, uh, you can make a... Byleth do a little jump. Ah. Is he doing a Naruto run? What? Pose. Pose. Anything else? Yeah, just jumps. There are new places to explore in the monastery. A thousand gold from the Church of Cyrus has funding for this month's activities. Ah. Okay. The 26th. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. Sure. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything. Absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. I mean, I've got time, but make it quick. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. Mm -hmm. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Okay. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Basically, it tries to tell you which class you should be. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. Hmm. And you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, Crests are passed down through the blood. So are there going to be children in this game? However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. I mean, I know there's a five-year time skip, but I've not heard anything about children. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. I see. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. Mm -hmm. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Okay. So, Geralt should have a crest and that gets passed down to me. Uh, do what you can to find out. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. Mm, what? Huh? What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? Hmm. To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. Okay. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. He's got a very cool style for a professor, you know. Very luxurious moustache and a matching beard as well. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps, what in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Hmm. I think I'll just leave him to it. Ah. So. You can now select the protagonist officer's academy uniform in the journal. 
Professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. Okay. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. So, I guess you have to pre-plan before the month comes up. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Mm-hmm. Okay. The monastery schedule features different events on different days. Each week you will have one day off. And you can choose an activity from the list. Your only option first will be explore. Select the calendar with the directional buttons to view the schedule. Seminar, battle, rest. Okay, so this is the first day off. Share a meal, gardening, fishing. Then we've got a house rivalry battle on the 30th. It's Ferdinand's birthday. Hubert's birthday was on the 17th. Rescue it done. Okay. Right. So. Of course, it's done the Japanese thing of starting the, the year in April um, rather than in January. But that's fine because I'm used to that from Persona. Uh, what's this? Adrestrian Empire Founding Day. Okay. All right. Well, I can't do anything but explore. What statistics do we have? Playing online lets you see the behavior of players around the world. You can see what percentage of players chose which activities on a given day, which units are most popular, and more. Referencing these statistics may give you an idea of how best to spend your time. Ah, okay. So that's like the network feature in Persona 5 that told you which correct answers, which answers were correct in the school questions. Unavailable this month? Oh, okay. Uh... So the participation, so everyone chose Edelgard, then Dorothea. Oh, it's all, it's all girls. I see. Uh, no gift recipients, no successful certifications, most deployed. Uh, okay, so that's a decent mix then. Yeah, people like Dorothea and Bernadetta and Petra. Well, people like Black Eagles then, clearly. All right. So, uh... Menu, yeah, can do another save, might as well. Yeah, I'm running out of space already. So I guess I'll just keep it to these four. All right, explore. Oh, that's the the hundred percent figure. There is what everyone did. I see. All right, explore. Explore the monastery. So this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I must have been imagining things. So, I can speak with the house leader. There's a journal there. Unit appearance. So, with cloak? Without cloak? Nah, I think with cloak is better. Uh, can I turn around? I mean, it looks very fancy. Um kind of want to keep this on for a bit. Yeah. I'm going to go to the bulletin board. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. So, quest information. I catch delectable fish for the St. Kethlin celebration. So you get 300 renown and you get other stuff as well for catching more fish. You can do some growing vegetables with Dudu. Get more renown. And share a bite with Sylvain. Okay, so you get renown and extra ingredients for... I guess this must be similar to the base building in Fire Emblem Fates, where you give food to a dragon or a fish, and it helps get more experience, do more potions. Yeah. Okay. So, speak with the house leader. My professor level is E. Oh, hey, Seteth. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Mm -hmm. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. Wow, segregated them already. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here. But the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. So basically, the nobles are assholes. Good to know. Of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. All right. Okay. okay. All right. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. 
Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Absolutely. Uh, ooh, something over here. Ah, oh, to do. We get to do the gardening with you, don't we? know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal as thanks for your service to His Highness. I have a request. So, take the do seed and ask the greenhouse keeper how to grow and harvest crops. I don't suppose there's any reason why I shouldn't do this. Yeah, do some gardening in the greenhouse. Okay. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future. Yeah, loosen up a bit, Dimitri. Alright. So. There is going to be a lot of exploring to do, isn't there? Hey, Teach. I hear there's going to be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Sounds like cheating to me. Oh, Professor. Have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me? I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Wow, these nobles are lazy as hell. Okay. So, so. if we head down the stairs, I think there might be an... Oh, hello. Dormitory. I guess this must be the commoners' stuff, yeah? Hmm. I do appreciate the sense of scale that this monastery has. Oh, wow! See, that's a cool detail, just having someone flying on a Pegasus Knight. And best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. How have, how have we never met before? It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Still, that, hmm, it's a bit odd. And we've got Sylvain. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea's quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. You say that like that that's a bad thing and wouldn't be the immediate choice. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Professor, I've got a small Share favor to ask. Talk to the dining staff and invite someone. Oh, so it doesn't have to be with Sylvain. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay Aww. with that, Professor. Poor Bernadetta. All right. So, let's see. It looks like I have to go around. But yeah. Like, it was one thing to have things in Fire Emblem Fates where you could walk around in 2D, but having a 3D place to explore is great. And I do appreciate the fact that it's not just the people in the house, uh, the, you know, the houses that we're looking at. Other people are here too. Oh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. I think your shirt would disagree. Okay. So I'm busy. Talk to you. Do you want something? Uh hoping to spar with you. Can I do that now? I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. All right, well, that was an easy choice for support building. Petra! Professor, I hope you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. If my ways of speak, uh, uh, of speech are causing a burden, I hope you will have forgiveness. Of course. All right, so we have a quest here. Hello. Hello there, Professor. Hey, Flane. Hi. I'm still a professor, though. Uh, where can I visit you then? My brother would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. <laughs> the monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Okay. Might you help me with a favor? Uh, fresh catch for Flane. Yes. Okay. So bulletin board. All right. So all those are accepted now. So, let's go and see what this quest for the dining stuff will actually do. So, what's today's special? 
Saggots and cream. Uh, a Bates confection coated with Noah fruit cream and a current reduction often re enjoyed as a dessert or family gatherings. So you get to see what people like which desserts best, which people hate these. Okay, and then the full menu. Uh, oh, you need to actually have the materials to do this. I see. Okay. So once you've got the materials, you can send it to the people that would enjoy it. Okay. No one likes the fish, though. Alright. So today's special. Let's do it with Edelgard. Oh, you get two people. Okay. Well, then, yeah, why not? They both appreciate it. This meal. How did you know? There was a handy icon that told me. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Usually in Persona games, they try and make you figure this out. Bonds among the three of you grew stronger. The two you invited are more motivated. Oh, sweet. You now have more activity points for exploration. More monthly funds for activities. Nice. So building your you professor level is important. Alright, so we completed share that. Okay. Renown increased. So, can I do this multiple times? Oh, you don't have enough activity points to share a meal. So the activity points thing was the number above the dining staff. So now, if I try and catch a fish, it's probably not going to let me do it, is it? Oh, greenhouse of fish. Nice. All right, so I talked to the fish keeper. Would you like to fish in the pond? To begin fishing, select your bait. Wait until you see the silhouette of the fish you want to catch. Press the A button to hook it. Don't wait too long or it will escape. Press the A button when the circles overlap to reduce the stamina of the hooked fish. Once stamina is depleted, you'll have successfully caught the fish. If your line breaks, the fish will escape. Durability of the fishing line increases with professor level. Repeated excellent timing will create combos that reduce the fish's stamina quickly. If you land excellent timing at all opportunities, you will net a more valuable fish than usual. Okay. So it looks like the activity. Uh, okay. Ta -da. You get three chances at that, sounds like. Small fish come to all regions of Fordland, somehow connected to St. Kethlin. Caracius. And you get 10 points for that. So you can do activities to do quests. Fishing has not been unlocked. But you probably won't be able to do it free reign unless you've got more activity points. Actually, who can I talk to? Ah, Marianne. Goddess, I pray to thee. Please protect us. <sighs> okay. Having a nice quiet moment contemplating. Got Linhard. Oh, the great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Uh, now I'm feeling sleepy too. So it looks like the options to get extra support with people are pretty obvious. I'm a little busy. Hello. Uh. Can we just talk a little? I really can't right now. I got a lot of things to do. Work and stuff like that. Why don't you look at the flowers in the greenhouse instead? They're pretty. Yeah, but who are you? You're completely new. Alright, uh, we got... Let's see. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home. And herbs I never even knew existed. Hmm. You seem really well informed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. That is very you useful. Try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Maybe. I right, can talk to the greenhouse keeper. Let's do some gardening. By gardening, you can harvest all kinds of crops. Flowers, for instance, make great gifts. Some people might even decorate their rooms with the flowers you give them. Use the plant command to decide which seeds to use. More seeds mean a bigger harvest, while more compatible seeds will lead to higher quality. Use the cultivate command to pay the greenhouse keeper to look after your crop. The more you spend, the better your harvest will be. 
Your crop will be ready one week after you plant your seeds. Use the harvest command to gather what you've grown. Okay. So this is another thing the calendar is important for. A week after planting. So we'll plant Dudu's seeds. Uh, we'll do that. Yep. Off the seeds. Greenhouse keeper. Check back when you next explore the monastery on a free day. Oh, if you only get one day off a week, then surely that's fine. Ooh. Okay. Uh, infuse with magic. Why not? Ta -da. And I suppose I can't harvest. And I can't cultivate twice. Okay. My thanks. All right. Interesting. So seeds and tomatoes. All right. Uh, I guess we'll go back and talk to Flame now that we caught that fish. But yeah, this is fun. Like, this is not Fire Emblem strategy, but it's still interesting. You have helped me so much. Ta da! All right. Um. So let's see. I want to. I want to talk to all the people I can while I can, because I have no idea whether people are gonna like you know leave the monastery or uh you know. God forbid anyone dies. The Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance's leading house. This is one exceptional year, that's for sure. If you're a teacher here, you better watch your step. If anything were to happen to those kids... Don't worry, we've already got the time rewind. It's nice to say that it could harm the reputation of the Church of Saros, which we've spent almost a millennium establishing. Oh, and they're just going to take me out, are they? Interesting. Alright, so... Yeah, there's a lot more monastery to explore that I have not yet touched. Let's see if I can sneak through the dining hall. Yeah, that's good. Open doorways are handy. Hello, gatekeeper. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? Sometimes. It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. No point crying over spilt milk. All right. What have we got this way? Indeed. Spotted a net. Hello. Professor. Hello. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. Sure. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? Uh, who would that be? Uh, Hello, looking for someone? Yes, it's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? All right, brother. Some sort. As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodlan. Assisting with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Mm hmm. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish off all these little. Oh, we can, oh there's priests the around. Of House Stressfeld, the ruling family of the Empire, has entered the Officers' Academy for the first time in ages. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. Oh, okay. In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years. You look very overdressed for a priest, I gotta say. There are two types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. Uh -huh. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. This sounds like major holy blood and minor holy blood, but I forget which Fire Emblem game that actually used. Of course. There are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. Oh, okay. The well. exact nature of how and why crests are inherited is still a mystery. Hmm. Okay. Um... Hello. Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? Not quite yet. It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. Bookworm. Uh, you like reading? Manner, yes, but it 
It's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. How old are you again? Because, oh, we don't actually know our own age. That's weird. All right, so 17, 20, 17, 16, 16, 17, 18, 15 for Petra. Huh, that seems a bit young. <laughs> All right, so if we head this way and head to the second floor, but I'm going to avoid that for the time being. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's lots of bulletin boards around, which is handy if there's something you want to Let check on specifically. Let me tell you the of our class name, the Eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. Mm -hmm. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor, hence Black Eagles. Okay. Fairly self-explanatory, but all right. Um, hmm. Right. So I think... Yeah, we'll do a right turn. I think I can see where Edelgard's hanging out. Right. Before I came to the Officers' Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, that's nice. Mercedes and Annette, they're pretty oh, good together. I guess Lawrence was at the School of Magic, too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Aww. That's nice. Story. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first king of Vargas. Lug, the king of lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're... Sure, we'll do, we'll do. Right, right. Alright. What we got? Dorothea! Professor, how are you doing? If you're not busy, would you like to join me on a little trip into town? Ooh. If I'm cooped up in this dusty old monastery for too long, it drives me absolutely crazy. Okay. Oh, that's not actually a quest to do. So what's the difference between people who are orange on the minimap and people who are blue? Hi. This is the Golden Deer House. You're in charge of a different class, right? Mm -hmm. Too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. Okay. Our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? No. Nope. Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. Well, I've already found out from the other guys. Surely that would be something that would have been brought up before now. Like, when you're trying to choose all the different people. Alright. So, I don't think there's any other people to talk to. I've already done the quests of fishing, the gardening, and the dining hall. So, just a couple more people around. I guess blue people are people in your uh, house. Sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was hmm. surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. I could probably take you, though. Oh, you're going to get a beatdown. But if I want to get his support, I'd probably say probably. <laughs> Seriously? You should really work on your self-confidence if you're planning on being a professor. Okay, well, that was a mistake. All right, never mind. Um, I did see on Twitter the Can You Pet the Dog account said, Nope, you cannot pet the dog, which is a bit disappointing because it's right there. All right. Let's talk to Edelgard. And we'll talk to Hubert Dimitri first. and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. Do not underestimate them. Don't plan to. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. Mm -hmm. All right, Edelgard, what's up? Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? Sure. You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Oh, okay. Right. So this is the actual guide. The monastery has some exceptional facilities that everyone who lives at the Officer's Academy is welcome to make use of. For example, you can enjoy a meal with your students at the dining hall, 
or take part in some one-on-one -on -one sparring at the training grounds. Don't think we've found the training grounds just yet. I suggest visiting the various facilities whenever you have the time to spare. It's a great way to get to know the students, faculty, and various workers here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you noticed the bulletin boards placed around the monastery? Those contain requests people have posted, as well as helpful information from the market. If you prove yourself by helping people with their requests, certain facilities here will become available for your use. So you have to do them to be able to do more quests later. The bulletin okay. board is updated frequently, so I suggest checking it at least once a month. Once a month seems very infrequent. Like, you'd be wanted to check it once a week, if anything. Alright, activity you points. You should take your time when speaking with everyone, but when it comes to using the facilities, well, you need to be more careful about that. You gotta min-max it. If you use them without planning ahead, your free time will be gone before you know it. So you can explore the monastery as much as you like, but certain activities will only be available when you have activity points. Uh, when you're done exploring, press the L button to finish your free time and proceed to the next week. Okay, that makes sense. A great deal is expected from professors of the Officers Academy, so it's important to hone your skills. To put it plainly, you'll need to keep expanding your knowledge of all disciplines, not just battle. The professor level determines your maximum activity points, raise it by reading books, taking part in activities, and interacting with students. Okay. You usually want to finish exploring when your activity points run out. Press the L button to do so. Yeah. Sounds like I've got nothing else to do right now. Uh, the mini-map. So... Oh, there is actually one more person over here. Hello. What? I care nothing of friendship. Oh, wow. If you have no business here, leave. Whew. Okay. So, yeah. The monastery is kind of locked down. There's at least four places for us to go. But we can't do any of that yet. That's fine. So let's make a save. And I guess if I'm going to keep rotating those saves, got to keep going. All right. Let's finish exploring. And proceed. It's Ferdinand's birthday. Would you like to buy flowers to celebrate for 200 gold? I mean, sure. I'm not going to be able to do it again for a whole year. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so end of the month, we've got a mission. So, statistics. Yeah. So, same as before, actually. Oh, it only changes month by month, not week by week. Okay. That makes sense, actually. So, yeah. Goals. Interesting. Hmm. So Bernadetta and Edelgard are extra motivated, which is good. So I suppose that must have some benefit in battle. Mm, everyone's got some skill status. Yeah. Beginner to intermediate. So Mervidon, soldiers. All right. So this will get explained as people get promoted. But it looks like we're going to have three tiers because we've got the noble as the unique, which is basically the villager. Then you go into the base unit, which is mercenary, swordmaster, uh, mercenary, uh, soldier, myrmidon, fighter, stuff like that. Then the mid tier, which will be the actual promoted version. So hero, swordmaster, paladin. And then I guess third tier will be something new afterwards. Yeah, advanced. Okay. Oh, there's even another tier above that. Professor level C. Okay. Hey, and you get... Oh, that, that's good, actually. You get notes on each of the people. So, likes and dislikes. Huh. Heir to House of Varley. Okay. Cool. To the mission! 